been a while since I posted a video, primarily because there hasn't been much work or progress done on the car. Uh, it got cold out, and I just kind of worked on putting the car away for the winter. But what I have been doing is buying parts. I picked up some drilled and slotted rotors from Summit and 1A parts. Also picked up some braided brake lines uh, through a tip with someone on Facebook. It led me to Big Brake Upgrade and I talked to them and they told me where they get their lines through and so I went there and got a really good deal on a five piece set. Uh, they were running a Black Friday sale. I picked it up for about $120, which everywhere I look, a set was running about $200 or so. After running a lot of errands today, going to my youngest daughter's first basketball game of the year, I decided why not get the car out, let it run a little bit, warm up. It deserves it. This car sat long enough in its life. Um, I would go out and drive it, but other issues prevent me from doing that at this point. Last time I took the car out, it bounced around like some 70s boat. Uh, and the brakes, I'm not sure if the rotors are warped, the pads are really just so old that they don't want to stick to the rotors. Uh, there could be multiple issues there, but braking is not fun. So I'm going to wait until I get all these parts on before I really go out and try to drive again. The only real work I have done on the car since my last video has been on the seals right here on these T-tops. I replaced them. I also replaced the drip edge that goes before that seal. Uh, they are available in plastic and rubber. Uh, apparently in 1989 they switched to using plastic. This is an 88 car, so I decided to stick with the rubber style. I bought the drip edge piece from 1A Auto. I already had an existing seal set that my stepmother had purchased, uh, so I went with that. Um, I'm not a big fan of the seals that she purchased, however. Uh, the original seals have uh, edges that actually screw into the T-top that hold it in place, whereas these do not. They just sit in uh, the extruded piece of aluminum that kind of has a edge on it that holds the seal into place. Uh, now, the pieces that she had they do help with adjusting for any issues which I've been able to test for you. So I don't know if replacing those seals genuinely helped. I guess I'll have to run this through a car wash again to really test it out. If you notice my headliner is just falling apart. Um, that and the driver's seat I'm going to take out to Oklahoma. I've got an uncle who is an upholstery god, and honestly, the only person I will trust uh, to handle the upholstery in this car. Um, that's going to happen at the end of January. Um, I'm still planning and figuring out when I'm going to put all these parts on the car, though. Uh, it's cold. My garage is small, and after shelling out everything for Christmas I'm kind of broke <laughs> there's that temperature gauge it's amazing how it's just been stuck for years upon years upon years one thing I've been considering is just going ahead and replacing the speakers uh, the backs are dead and the passenger front is dead. They're original, original speakers, which back in the 80s were really junk right out of the box. 
Uh, even today, most speakers that come in vehicles are still not that up to par with what you can get in the aftermarket. But they're getting a lot better, especially since the 80s. So as you can see, I've got lots of plans for the winter. I'm just not exactly documenting everything under the sun that I've done. Um, just how I am. A lot of times when you're busy with your hands, the last thing you want is a camera in the way. Uh, I did buy a tripod. It's, it's kind of a neat tripod. It's like a selfie stick, but it has a tripod. It also has a built-in uh, button you can use to... Uh, start and stop video take pictures whatnot and it's remote so i can be 20 feet away that will help me uh do more of this stuff and show you guys exactly what i'm doing